Today I'm going to be talking about the 2004 Chilean foreign film Machuca. It surrounds the life of two friends, Gonzalo and Pedro, and they're kind of an interesting pair because Gonzalo is much wealthier than Pedro is, and they're growing up at a very difficult time during the 1970s during um, the takeover of the communist regime in Chile. And the pair meet at an integrated school, and it's really interesting because you can see the difference between the other boys and Machuca. He's very strong-willed, and he's a really strong character in the movie. And I think that's one of the reasons why a big theme in this movie is friendship, and the really dynamic and interesting friendship between Pedro and Gonzalo. Um, one of my favorite parts of the movie is the part where Pedro, Gonzalo, and uh, Pedro's cousin Silvana go to two different um, festivals where, well, they're really parades, where at the first one they sell communist flags and they jump and they dance and they cheer for the communist regime and at the second one they sell flags for the nationalist regime and they jump and they cheer there and you're not really sure in the moment if they have an understanding of the two different sides but they're just kind of having fun with it and they're being kids during this really interesting time which is really tumultuous there's a lot of disagreement between the wealthy and the poor and status becomes a really important determining factor um, one of the things that I also really like about this film is the camera production, such as in the last scene, which is really dramatic, and a lot of tumultuous things going on, it's done completely in black and white, and the color is taken out of the film, which really gives you a feeling of how Pedro is feeling during those moments. It's He's feeling very grim. His family is basically being destroyed, and everything he knows is being destroyed by these new people coming in and from the government and really just tearing up his town. And so I think it's interesting that it's done in black and white. Also, the camera isn't steady, which is really interesting. It's really shaky, which gives you a view of how he's feeling on the inside. He's feeling really shaken up. Um, overall, I thought this was a really great movie, and I liked it at all. I liked it a lot. And even though the ending was kind of sad, I could appreciate it because I could understand with historical background, um, knowing that the time, the period of time where the movie ends isn't particularly a happy time in Chile, and though happy times are later to come, that's not the time that focus that the film focuses on at the end of the at the close of the movie, and you're kind of left to wonder um, what's going to happen with this pair because they can't really be friends anymore um, due to what's going on, but they have that history with each other, and they got both got to understand each other's perspectives, and it was interesting to see how Gonzalo changed a little bit from seeing how good he had it, perhaps, and how Pedro has it. While they both have problems with their family, where Pedro has very little money and very little opportunity, but Gonzalo has a very difficult relationship with his mother, who makes a lot of interesting choices throughout the film, such as the one she chooses to have with her lover, and he doesn't really have a great relationship with his dad. But they get to see each other's perspectives. And it's really interesting that they meet throughout the course of this film, and it's such an interesting way to describe such an interesting historical time through the eyes of these two young children that are definitely an unlike me pair. And I would definitely recommend this movie to anyone that wants to see a great foreign film with historical context of a very interesting time period. Thanks so much.